Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing this super easy smoky eye. It's so freaking easy. I have done this video a couple times before, but I wore this look in like three videos recently and in every single video everyone was asking what is on my eyes so I thought that I would create this video and if I ever wear it again I can just like refer it back to this I am just doing the eyes because that is the focus I love this look it is my go-to smoky eye and it's so easy to achieve this is easy peasy lemon squeezy this look will work for everybody doesn't matter your skin tone it doesn't matter your eye shape and it doesn't matter your skill level because this will work for everybody the technique is just so easy so simple I promise you you can do it if you have any questions please let me know them down below if you try this out and you get like stuck on something because you can do it I know you can um, it doesn't matter what products I'm using in this video use what you have because the products really do not matter the only thing that I want to say is make sure that they are matte eyeshadows you don't want to use shimmer all up over the lid um, you can but it just won't give the same effect so that's the only thing other than that you can do it so I'm gonna stop rambling I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started So this smoky eye is super, super simple. Pretty much what I do is I grab my palette. Now it is really dirty. I know I need to clean it, but this is my palette. I have a whole video on pretty much like what's in this palette. I will link it up here in case you want to see it, but pretty much with this look, it doesn't matter if it's cool toned or warm toned. What I do is I just mix a million different shades together. Today, I'm just going to make it a little bit more mauve -y, So I'm going to focus more on like these shades here. If I was going to make it a little bit more warm, I would focus on these shades over here. So the first shade I'm going to use, it's pretty much the shade that I always go into first. This is Birkin from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is my favorite neutral brown shade to go on first. I used to only use Peach Smoothie, but this shadow has kind of replaced it because this matches my skin tone a little bit better. It's a little bit more cool tone than Peach Smoothie. If you have more yellow in your skin, you can go in with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna use this E40 brush from Sigma because it's ginormous, just really fluffy. I've heard that the new ones are a little bit straighter or something, but I feel like mine was pretty straight when I got it. It's just from using it, I've fluffed it out and from washing it, I mean, I've had this for a few years. So what I'm gonna do is focus it in the crease area, but go kind of like all over the place. I neglect up here because we still want this to be bright if you get it on the lid that's totally fine so i pull back towards the middle of my brush and i just do these circles all over and now i'm going to the right to the left to the right to the left so my circles aren't going only in one circular motion they're going you know clockwise and then counterclockwise and you know just really kind of buffing it on there and going in different motions so that it really moves around. Now I'm bringing it over here. And I'm adding more each time so that it gets more pigmented. So now I want to make it more cool toned. I'm going to go in with Bandwagon from Makeup Geek. This is a very, very beautiful cool tone shade. And with this, I'm going to do exactly what I did with Birkin. So I'm going right here in the crease. It's pretty much the same thing, a touch more precise. You can get it on the lid, it really doesn't matter. I'm focusing here on the inner part just because that's what I always do. Around, I'm doing little circular motions again. Both counterclockwise and clockwise. I'm gonna go in with another Makeup Geek shade. This is Petal Pusher. It is a pinky gray. And this is gonna help bring in a little bit more of that purpley tone that I wanna go with. So I'm gonna pick that up on that same E35 and go right over that stuff again. This is still keeping it cool tone, but adding a little bit of that pinky hue. Next, I'm gonna go in with another Anastasia shade. This is Dusty Rose. I'm gonna use that on that same E35 brush that I just used. And this one, I'm focusing it here on the outer part of the lid towards the middle and also in the crease. So this is one of my favorite shades for this eye look. This is Blackberry from MAC. It is almost like a muted plum shade. 
and it's really pretty on the eyes. I really love it. Start packing it here on the outer corner as well as the crease. As you can see, there's a similar theme going on here. It's just really repetitive and doing the same thing over and over again. And when you do this and build up your shades from light to dark, you're gonna create so much dimension. It, it'll look like you only have like one or two shades on your eye, but you've mixed so many different shades to give that cool effect and I don't know, I just really like it and I feel so sassy when I wear this look. So um, I'm just continuing this on my eye. Do the crease here. The next shade I'm gonna use is Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek. This is, come on focus. This is a very deep berry red shade. I'm gonna use my E25 brush from Sigma and I'm gonna put it right on the very tip of that and focus this color mainly in the outer corner. Um, with all of the other shades, they went on kind of like all over the place, but this one I'm focusing mainly over here because it is the deeper one. And then I'm also flicking it towards the center of the lid. And then with whatever's left over on my E35, I'm just gonna go in and buff that out. And the last thing I like to do is go in with that first shade Birkin on a flatter brush and kind of pop it here on the lid so that it's a little bit brighter, still matte, Still in the same tones and family, but it just brightens this area just a little bit. Okay, I'm quickly just going to highlight my brow bone. This is totally optional. I'm using nylon from MAC because uh, I like a big contrast. Everything is really matte and then I like that brow bone to shine. Okay, so now for the lower part, I'm just going to start with the darkest shade. I'm picking that up on a flat definer brush. This is an E15 brush from Sigma. And I'm looking up into my mirror and putting this right at the lashes, like right at the lashes. You can take whatever fluffy brush you want that works on your bottom lash line. I'm gonna take that bandwagon shade and buff this out. You can add liner or you can skip it. I'm gonna do a wing. If you want a full in-depth tutorial on how I do my wings liner, I will post it up in the top corner. I was actually wearing this same eye look in that video, so that kind of worked out. So that is how I create this smoky eye. I don't even really know exactly what to call it because it's honestly just so customizable to whatever you want and whatever you have at home. You don't have to use any of the products that I used in this video, just use what you have and make it work. The only thing I'd have to recommend is that you use matte shades and try not to use really any shimmers because the shimmer can get kind of sloppy. But other than that, use whatever you have and you can change the tones, you can make it more warm, you can make it more cool, whatever you want. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe. I post videos at least three times a week. I am back on schedule and it feels so good. I hope you guys are so excited for holiday tutorials and videos and stuff like that. Let me know your requests down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yes, 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 yes. I should have wore a bra.